इनफ्रिंजमेंट अकर्स वेन अ पर्सन और कंपनी यूज अ ट्रेडमार्क विच इज सिमिलर और आइडेंटिकल टू एनदर ट्रेडमार्क ओन्ड बाई सम अदर पार्टी हैविंग ऑलरेडी अक्वायर्ड डिस्टिंगटिवनेस और अ रजिस्टर्ड ट्रेडमार्क द एक्चुअल ट्रेडमार्क ओनर मे ब्रिंग द इनफ्रिंजर टू कोर्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट एक्सक्लूसिव राइट अटैच विद दी ट्रेडमार्क इनफ्रिंजमेंट ऑफ एन अनरजिस्टर्ड ट्रेडमार्क बट हैविंग अक्वायर्ड डिस्टिंगटिवनेस कैन ऑल्सो बी चैलेंज टू एस्टेब्लिश इनफ्रिंजमेंट कोर्ट जनरली सी वेदर द इनफ्रिंज ट्रेडमार्क कैन क्रिएट लाइकलीहुड ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन फॉर दी कस्टमर एंड वेदर इट इज यूज इन सेल परचेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन or marketing of similar goods or services the intent of infringer is generally determined by the fact whether the trademark is used to sell similar class of products or services in the same competitive territory as used by the original trademark owner this is the reason that well known and established companies generally can better protect their trademark rights against infringement some trademark infringements may trick consumers making it difficult to determine the source identifier for example belfast taxi brands value cabs and phona cab moved court to protect their trademark rights when the infringer party merged both names to create a new taxi company phona value in 2022 the high court decided in favor of value cabs and phona cab and granted injunction to protect their infringed trademark rights it is also possible for the accused infringer to successfully defend the case as exception for example mcdonald's accused then ireland based restaurant supermax about infringement of its registered trademark big mac because of similarity and likelihood of confusion between big mac and the supermax if the supermax had defended the case on grounds of mere distinctiveness mcdonald's had a better chance of victory but supermax followed a different line to defend it by claiming that the trademark big mac was not being genuinely used in classes it was registered for in other words instead of proving the distinctiveness of their own supermax they questioned the legal use and existence of big mac trademark in its decision in 2019 european union ipo held that mcdonald's could not prove genuine use of trademark through actual sales or transactions so in this case supermax was accused of infringement but its owners intelligently even stripped the mcdonald's for exclusive rights for big mac trademark on the other hand mcdonald's has successfully prevented many infringements of its trademarks such as mcwagon in 2021 primarily due to the distinctiveness of mc prefix in word mark even though it was not registered trademark in the uk the claims of trademark infringement become weak when other party names their business even unregistered after the names of places or persons for example the star in wog is a pub in a village of wog in cornwall the owner of the famous wog magazine wrote to the owner for removing wog from the name of the pub citing that wog is their registered trademark however however after knowing that the village of wog is several hundred years old then the name of the magazine the notice was withdrawn to sum up i would suggest your trademark should be fanciful and unique for effective protection against possible infringement you can learn more about trademark registration tips in next videos by dozro if you like this video consider liking it and following our social media pages you may also look into description below for some useful links thank you so much for your time